I'm very delighted to announce we've now got Christian Varela with us, all the way from Spain, who's just finished playing. How was it? It was very powerful because uh, the feeling with the people is uh, fantastic. Very good people. Is really. this your uh, first time playing here at Mysteryland? Obviously yes, not at Mysteryland is the first time in Holland. I play sometimes every year, but in Mysteryland is uh, is the first time and it's very nice. And uh, looking at the techno scene at the minute, how do you compare that with Spain and Holland and different countries when you're traveling? I think uh, Holland is similar to Spain because the people like so much the techno and uh, it's very hot, uh, hot dance floor, no? And uh, I think for me, Holland, Spain, sometimes Brazil and Japan is a similar crowd. It's, uh, the feeling is very similar, the atmosphere and everything. So how have you seen the sort of techno industry evolve in the last few years? Where is it all going? I think uh, now with the techno it's uh, going to the fusion with uh, another styles. So this is very nice because now I think it's uh, a little bit fusion of techno with minimal, a techno with house and minimal, something very rich for, for the music. So I think it's perfect. And Christian, where do you get your influences from? You know, who did you listen to growing up that got you into becoming a DJ? Well, when I was uh, very young, uh, I every time listen something like Kraftwerk, Front 242, Nisaret, Cassandra, Cassandra Complex or uh, groups like that. In the other way, uh, I really like from I was young the Pets Mode or even uh, Vangelis, more classical. It's making quite a comeback, that kind of music. You hear it a lot down in the discos and the, the clubs in Spain, actually. Yeah. I've just been back in Marbella myself. Yeah. And the Ibiza thing, that's great. Where did you say, do you work with sort of live percussion and uh, audio visual stuff as well? Uh, for, for my uh, yeah, for your sets. Yeah, for my set. Uh, two years ago, I was uh, doing a very beautiful set, very show set with uh, two percussionists. And yeah, it was uh, fantastic. But I think for DJ, uh, it's better to do only DJ and concentrate in what are you doing. And after, in the other way, I want to do the sets, uh, live sets, but only with musicians and uh, with me playing keyboards. Now I'm preparing yeah. a, a new album uh, with uh, the National Orchestra from Spain and uh, electronic basses and playing uh, the piano, me. So it's a show really beautiful, but it will be released for 2008. So. And what's the name of that going to be? The album? Uh, Paradise of Feelings. Very Paradise good. Feelings. That it's sounds good. Very beautiful album because every track, uh, each track is one feeling, and each feeling is um, represented uh, for one instrument, one classic instrument. For example, love with the strings, and every tracks are a uh, feeling with an instrument. Where so it's. it's so very how, mu how much time do you actually spend in the production studio versus traveling, getting that balance right? Now it's uh, 15 years ago, but uh, studying music, I was from 10 years. Uh, uh, ten years old, no? You say in, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's long time. But in the electronic, I was 15 years ago, professionally. And who's 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 exciting you at the minute? Because obviously you've been in the industry for a few years. But what new people coming through or uh, standing out in the crowd for you right now? Who's exciting you? Young techno DJs. Um, I don't know. Uh, there is something uh, very nice because the new generations of DJs are not playing uh, only techno or only minimal so it's uh, as I said before it's a fusion yeah. and the new generations are really really nice because it's uh, more rich music so for us for the more all, all the school people it's uh, very nice to refresh the music and the techno and the electronic and how have you used like the internet and things like blogs and MySpace and all these kind of sites to really promote your own music? Is it, have you found that whole technical revolution that we're going through right now benefiting you and helping you sell more records? MySpace not. <laughs> really not help me to sell more records. But I think now the industry is changing, no? Because uh, uh, five or six years ago you can sell 7,000 uh, 7, copies for one vinyl and nothing for digital and something like that. And now it's changing, no? Now you can sell 1,000, 2,000 copies for vinyl, but you can sell a lot of downloads in the Beatport or, or sites like that, no? So I think the, the music industry is changing, but it's okay if, uh, for me if I can do my music, sell, and uh, 
have with the people the, that experience of the music is the is the same but I am very romantic I uh, still love him so much the vinyl man and you heard it here first you can take the letter out the man but you can't take the man out of the Mediterranean or something like that so listen uh, you've where have you, what's the most exciting place you've played this summer? What's, what's on the horizon in the next few weeks? Where are you going next? Last Tuesday uh, in, the, in the space, Ibiza, because we did, uh, it was my birthday, 21st August. Congratulations, Congra uh, 21 years young. And we did a very special set, uh, we are doing every year, Skull Cox and me at the space in Ibiza. But this year it was amazing because we did uh, for my birthday a special set together with four decks and two mixers the last two hours and it was really amazing. A lot of power and the people was crazy. I well, thought Carl Cox gave up the three deck gig. You know, it's, all, it's all digital now, isn't it? So, you know, he was very famous for the three decks. Is he still playing some vinyl or is it just a special occasion you did that in space? Now he's playing uh, with three CDs. But three <laughs> CDs. I think it's the same. His music is very nice. He said he's very powerful with the people and to play together in two CDs and two decks and two mixers, it was amazing, yeah. really. And so where would you say that your uh, music is more popular? In Spain, in Europe, in Asia? Are you doing anything in North America? I think it's the same everywhere because uh, in Spain it was more, uh, more big a few years ago, but now uh, my music I think is the same around the world so I'm very happy about yeah. that. And so what's the next couple of years hold for you Christian Barella? Where, where do you see it all going and how are you going to be part of that? I think I will be more concentrated in the live sets with the clas uh, classical music and electronic. Uh, the shows uh, will be really really big with dancers and laser show, uh, orchestra, me playing piano so uh, the half of me will be concentrated on that and yeah. the other half in the techno or electronic music, so. You describe yourself as romantic. In three other words, describe Christian Verla in the year 2007. Uh, three words. I think um, uh, groovy, deepness, and power. I think it's the... That's a very powerful combination. And based on that, we'd better let the man get back to work, I suppose. Are you going to see anyone else tonight here, or are you going to leave early? Or? I must to leave now to Spain because we are doing our self uh, festival from three years ago now. Uh, this is the third edition, and it's electrosonic festival. So tonight I must. Uh, I arrive to Madrid. I take a car. I go to Burgos because it's 200 kilometers, and I play there with Marco Bailey, with my yeah. partner and brother. Uh, and to do the closing of the party so and will we see you at Amsterdam dance event this year are you coming back in October yeah I think I come in to the Cubase festival so I'm very happy to to come back because this year I play three or four times in Holland so it's perfect I like the Holland crowd is very hot you say that into camera here Christian Verla he loves the Dutch crowd and uh, just once more um, you're the big reader of DJ broadcast as well I believe yes and the girls here are fantastic too also <laughs> <laughs> sorry I'm pornography so <laughs> every time the same <laughs> thank you very much Christian thank you it's you're a star no worries good man